it's Sunday today and of course I am making soap. What else would I be doing on a Sunday? So let's get into a layered soap um, for Valentine's Day. So it's got some beautiful hearts that I'm going to put on top and then we do have an ombre layer. So first of all I've already done my first layer which is just basically your plain white with pink swirls in it and then that is going to be my main layer and then we're going to build up into layers of pink. So let's get into this and I'll show you exactly how I've made this soap and how much fun it's going to be. To set up for all of our layers, because we want a little bit of an ombre effect, what we've got is our three containers here and then of course our spoon. So we're going to put the same amount of oil in each and then all we're going to do is differ the uh, mica that I'm going to use. So this particular mica here is called Bubblegum Pink. So if you just, you know, go, okay, you're going to have, you know, a flat spoon in the first one then maybe the second one you're going to have like a heaped spoon and then maybe the third one we're going to have two heaped spoons just so that we know the color is changing quite a bit and you can see that there is quite a difference in these colors here as well so now we will fix all this one up close the lid and remember each of these are going in a two kilogram mix so it's definitely not too much for that mix it's fine we can definitely use it and then all we're going to do is add some mica in, uh, sorry not mica, some oil. So I'm just using some apricot kernel and just do two in each one. Basically you want to try and keep everything the same except for the colour. And then we will see the ombre effect. And remember ombre effect needs, you know, we want it to be slight. We don't want it to be really heavy. And then the bottom of my um, soap, I've already made one in a marbling kind of effect. So simple as that and then you know just label these one two and three so we know um, because I actually want mine to go from the lightest color to the darkest color so um, so the next one we're going to do would be this one here then I'm going to uh, do this layer I'll let it set a tiny bit then I'll come back and do the next layer and so on and because I'm doing this in a slab mold, uh, slab mold I have divided my mold um, to how I want it to look as well. So like I said, that's all we're going to do is just mix it up, mix it up really super well. Um, and you will see, so, and you can definitely see how much Mikey used. So this one's real thick if you can see that. And then this one's really watery. So that's how you definitely know that there is a change in the micas as well. So anyway, I'll mix these up and then I'll bring you back in a moment. So here is the first layer. I know I didn't show it, but look how gorgeous this is. This is just a bit of pink clay and a little bit of the same mica that we're using. So this one is the bottom layer. And like I said, then we have two more layers to go on top. And then we're gonna put our gorgeous hearts as well. So this one will also have some pink clay and not kaolin clay in the recipe. Anyway, let's get making. So in here, I do have all of my hard oils. I also do have my olive oil, so a bit of so, uh, sodium lactate, and that will help it release itself from the mold. And I've also put in a tablespoon of uh, pink clay. So the full recipe will be in the description box. So just look down there. This is a two kilogram um, oil-based recipe in here. It is totally palm free, which is really, really good for everybody that wants to do palm free. And then I am going to be doing um, a mixture of frangipani and a watermelon and a sort of watercress, I guess, with violet um, fragrance. So it's my own little blend, which I'll just mix and pop in here. Do remember if you're using frangipani, often they can only be used at 2% uh, for soap. So do check them out because they're all quite different. And then once we've done this, we're literally going to um, go and pour it into our mold. So at the start, um, I did actually start to do some of these, which I'll show you as we, you know, I probably just showed you actually. And so basically this is my first lot of pink that's going in this one. Then the second layer will do in a totally separate batch and then that will be the second one and so on. So gradually as we get up, we're getting more and more pink into it so that to make that sort of ombre soap. So anyway, like I said, everything is already in the bucket here. Now all I need to do is add my lye, combine it all, and then we're going to pour it in here. So let's go. So I do have my lye already in here. So I'm just going to very carefully pour that into here. Remember, you don't want to do splashes or else you will actually burn yourself. And no fragrance is put in yet. We're going to do that later. And so for now, let's mix it up. I 
do have a clay in this. We do need to make sure it's mixed really, really well. But for now, it's starting to look a bit beautiful. Now, this particular um, colour, which is called Bubblegum from Sud Off, I'm not going to put this into the last minute because I know it does not play nice. It goes very thick, very fast. But it is, that's actually really, really good for an ombre soap because we kind of want that in our ombre soap, don't we? We don't want it to be too light. Um, and um, not light, sorry. We don't want it to, you know, take forever to harden up. So this will actually help it a little bit. So you do need to test all of your uh, colours because they all play really different. So let's keep blending it up and then we'll add the fragrance. <laughs> as much because frangipani can't have as much and i'm sorry if you can hear the saw but we are doing a back extension on our house at the moment so um that's what you can probably hear the sawing but if... now in goes the fragrance oil so we'll pop that in and let's get going but this is getting quite thick it's not totally thick but it's pretty good so now we're going to just scrape in um our first uh, ombre color so do remember that I put numbers on these as well so I know that this is the first layer on top of the main one and then we're going to pour it straight in that's it it's simple as that and the ombres are really fun because it gives something a little bit different as well so scrape it all in we'll mix it in and that's it and you can just mix it in with this to start with and give it a very quick blip <laughs> all I'm gonna do and now let's just move this and we'll pour it in so now here is my first layer as you can see here you do need to spray this with some alcohol if it's already set or some water so I'm just going to give this a really quick spray and it will actually help everything to adhere so don't be scabby give it a really good spritz because we don't want this to come apart and then like I said I'm literally going to add in my first layer of pink and that's all we're going to do with this one. It's really, really simple. This is why I like to do mine as well in um, batches. I don't like to do it together because if one doesn't set up, you don't have the soap, you know, setting up too fast or anything like that. It's definitely much, much better to do it this way. And so this is all we're gonna do. So we're gonna wait for, a, I usually wait for an hour or two and let it set up. And then, like I said, I'll come back the next bit so I scrape my container out and usually you'll be able to use the same container because you're doing it in the same day so you don't need to worry too much and while this is setting up then you can organize your oils and everything else for the next one I've already pre-done my live all of these into all of the separate containers so there you go, let's go and we'll wait for the next bit. Now this is going to be layer number three because do remember we have the first one which is the marble look, the second one which is the light pink and then this one is going to be the medium pink. So I've already just poured in my lye and now I do have all of my hard oils that are melted down, they are totally cool and then of course you know I'm adding in all of my olive oils um, and castor oils, sodium lactate and so on. Just like I usually would I've also put in a tablespoon of pink uh, French clay which is a beautiful beautiful clay so anyway like I said we'll keep mixing this whole one up and then basically it's going to be just the same as the layer before once it's all mixed and we are happy with it and everything is perfect then of course we are just going to be pouring this on top 
of the other layer do make sure that you are spraying either water um, or um, your alcohol sprays in between each layer because if you don't they may not stick sometimes that happens if they've gone too hard in between they won't stick and when you cut them then they crack and fall apart so that's a part of layering that you need to get really really right so now you've just seen me add in um, the fragrance oil of course like I said this fragrance oil is a little bit complex because I've actually made this one myself it is a blend of several um, fragrances so you can definitely blend fragrances just try and keep the fragrances um, very similar so when I say similar when you go on to um, any candle supplier you'll be able to look into the fragrances and they'll say they'll have the same sort of um, numbers on them so if you make candles you know exactly what I mean and um, anyway just have a look into that but I'm sure that you'll know what I mean and that way they can be a beautiful beautiful asset to your company because they can make them a little bit unique and different so let's get ready and pour this in here in a minute and of course I forgot to spray it a bit more so I thought I'd better quickly go and do that and now let's Let's just spray this one I shouldn't say spray sorry let's just pour this one in see I'm a bit upsy daisy at the moment aren't I everything's back and forward but um, making too many soap I think but anyway let's pop this one in and this gorgeous soap is going to become a part of my permanent line so this will be my permanent line for a year and a lot of my soaps and so on will be there for a year so I'll be keeping them for a year now and then you know I'll just add in extra ones at different times of the year to make it a little bit more unique and that way it gives people a chance to be able to review my products and give the stars that they deserve so I spray it with a bit of alcohol again and let's wait to the next layer all right everyone we are on to the last bit so I have just mixed up our last color and as I said at the start of this video basically what we're doing is just mixing the colors a little bit more and more so that we get darker and darker pink as we go along so it is definitely ready and as I say in lots and lots of my video if you're using a palm free recipe you would definitely notice that it takes longer to thicken up it just does not play nice I do not know why but uh, my recipe is not um, a you know super heavy buttered recipe as well and I do use about 55% I think it is olive oil so mine is a skin loving one and that is uh, very beautiful to put on the skin for sure but anyway like I said it's a bit thinner but that's okay I could mix this if I wanted you could keep going but honestly it is ready so let's just pop it in the top of um, our other one that we've done so there's several layers on here we are going to spray this first just to make sure the two layers stick together so you can spray it with water or alcohol whatever you prefer I'm going to give mine a spray with the um, alcohol so let's give it a bit of a spray and uh, hope for the best so let's go and then after that we can just literally pour everything else on top um, and I know I'm going to have more in here that I want but I want to keep some so we can do a little bit of a like a piping kind of top on it um, just to be a bit different I just wanted this one to look I don't know just a little bit gorgeous I want to put a little bit of florals on top with also with my hearts as well if you wanted with the top here I mean look you could actually make it darker again and put streaks of color or anything like that but I decided not to do that I decided to try and be good and not add too much onto it and keep like I said more of an ombre kind of look so I'm going to just leave this one for a little bit um, and let it settle just a tiny bit and then we do have our other bits to pop in so these are the other ones that I've already made and these are you know what was called in when I was young in the 70s and 80s conversational um, candy so all the candies would have different things they'd say cutie pie I love you and so on on them and that's exactly what these ones are and then once these are ready and this is a bit thicker we're just going to pop them on but it's definitely not ready it's definitely not ready to pop these on yet because this needs to get a little bit thicker so I've made it go to the top but like I said I'm going to keep some of this and I may even make um, a few more just little individual soaps to give away with this um, what I've got left in here so 
I will bring you back when this is ready and we're ready to pop some stuff on the top. So how exciting. Three days it has taken to make this, just in case anybody wants to know how long it is. All right, everyone, it is time to add in all the specials. So all I'm going to do is literally just pop them in and let them drop where they drop because it is uh, still a little liquid, which is fine because we want it to be like that. But I just thought these were really cute and however they get cut is how they get cut. Somebody's going to get some and somebody's going to get these other hearts as well. But I thought this one just looks really, really cute, doesn't it? And it's such a sweet Valentine's Day kind of soap. And it will be ready just in time for Valentine's Day. So I think that's a little bit special. And then I thought I'm, I do have a little bit of flora left for something else I was doing. So I thought we might just pop that in as well. But I hope you love these. And of course, I'm going to cut these and show you all um, how they all came out as well. Because I just love doing stuff like this. It's right up my alley. I really do enjoy this kind of um, thing. And you can hear my little baby doggies barking because it is actually the evening. I've been working all day doing so many different things. I've been up late at night trying to get uh, my website how I want it to be. And uh, then this week, later on in the week, I have to meet with a graphic artist. Um, as I've said, you know, for some boxes and things, I'm getting make it. Um, I'm making to step up my game in 2022. So I'm hoping it's going to be a very, very exciting year for me in 2022. I'm sure it will be. It's just one of those things, isn't it? You just never know. So anyway, we've done that bit there. And so now what you could do is you could buy, put some biodegradable glitter, which of course we will add, or some little floral or something like that. So I'm going to add a couple more things um, into this just to make it a bit sweet. And it's not meant to be perfect. You know, we just want it to look like the top of a lolly or a cake that's kind of cut off. So like I said, I do have a little bit of flora, so I'm going to add that in. But let me just get some biodegradable glitter. Now, I do have um, a brush that I use that a lovely, lovely lady gave me, but my daughter has taken the brush, so she's a naughty girl, isn't she? But anyway, so I have to use this brush, so I'm just going to add in these gorgeous sparkles. These ones here are from Sud Off, and I'm just randomly popping them on. There's no right or wrong, even though I accidentally dumped that bit in there, so someone's getting extra sparkle, but that's all right. And you know, that's the thing. Sometimes they're not meant to be exact. And this is what I tell people, you know, these are handmade, you know, and so always make sure your customers understand that everything's handmade. You're not promising to give them something, you know, that's like a factory that's made in the same mold every time, you know, with a factory machine. Like when it's made by hand, it's going to be different. However, the, everything falls is how it falls, isn't it? So anyway, but I'm sure that you're going to agree this is gorgeous. I'll give you a bit of a look when we're done. So I popped a little bit on that and like I said, I do have a little bit of flora. So I just thought I'll stick a little bit in, but I need to take my gloves off to do that. And that's it. That's it. I mean, look how sweet it looks. I think so. I just thought, look, we can just add some little romance to Valentine's Day by putting a little bit of these flowers around because they do look really pretty so there's some rose petals some lavender um, and when you're using anything like this on soap i use the smallest amount so you can see how sparing i am like honestly it's probably maybe uh, a tablespoon I'm going to use over the whole thing because otherwise it's going down someone's drain so you do have to be really careful with that and some people might complain um, but to me I write everything on my website and you'll see that my descriptions are really big on my website and I know it might look a bit busy but I would rather say that than people say well I didn't realize or you know I wouldn't have bought it if I thought that was on it well this way they know exactly what's on it before they purchase it so never feel scared to put everything on there. But anyway, look how sweet this is. It's looking absolutely gorgeous. And I can't wait to bring you this video. So here it is, everybody. And I wish you could see it in person because honestly, it looks so much cuter in person than it does on the camera. 
but yeah look how sweet it does look i mean it just looks really really cute it's watery because of the witch hazel ah, sorry it's not witch hazel i've sprayed it's rubbing alcohol please don't uh say witch hazel it is rubbing alcohol sorry i said that wrong i just realized then but anyway that's what i've popped on the top i hope you love it and let's come back tomorrow for the cut so it is the next day and look how gorgeous this is looking you can see all the different layers and of course this is on my gorgeous little cutter so i'm going to be slicing up the whole thing so i hope you love it and find it as sweet as i do i mean i absolutely love the colors of course it would cure a little bit more but this is pretty much the color it's going to remain so let's pop it through and then of course you can see me cutting it can you see that with the wire this is what this machine is actually going to do and i'm holding this by hand so let's hope it shows you exactly what's meant to actually happen and then it's just going to cut right through this end and you can see that it is just cut through and then all i do and it has cut all the way through look how gorgeous that is looking so let's take out the first loaf and we'll see how beautiful this is going to look it's very exciting isn't it i mean i love this part of soap making it really and truly is one of my favorites but look at those gorgeous layers so we're going to just cut each piece now and i'll show you the end result so here they are, I have actually cut down the layers and I just thought I'd show you this bit on the bottom because look how cute it looks. I mean, they're looking so nice. So here are all, um, you know, obviously of the loaves and now I'm going to just cut some more of them. So here on my little table, there's plenty more here, but let's get and cut the slices and we'll see how gorgeous this is gonna look. I thought let's do the voiceover over the top because my little microphone stand was a bit of a distance away from me and then it made it a bit more difficult for you to hear clearly. So anyway, I do have it here on my um, splitting machine. But one thing I'm showing you here is obviously it cuts, the splitter will actually cut them into loaves, but then you can use the same machine as well if you like, just to actually cut them into individual bars. I mean, of course it is easier if you just have a normal cutter, but if you don't want to get them all out, which I didn't, I was being a bit lazy, you can definitely cut them this way. All you need to do is move the grid and um, the measurements at the side. It has like a little block on the side of this and then you can just move it to whatever size you want and it will cut the loaves and slices to the size. I hope you love it. I absolutely love this one and I will see you on the next video. Make sure you give me a massive big thumbs up and um, I hope that you really love this and have enjoyed the layered soap that we've made in totally palm free and of course it is a bit romantic and a bit gorgeous just for valentine's day so make sure you all have an amazing valentine's day have a nice snuggle up on the couch with somebody you love whether it's your husband your partner or your kids just watch your movie and um, enjoy some personal time anyway see you on the next video bye for now